All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please, before we start, don't forget to give a like and share the video. Not only by sharing the link, uh, we want you to do to download the video and post it in your YouTube or Facebook or whatever you wish. Uh, feel free to have all my videos anywhere you want. Uh, we made a video today. Uh, it's called uh, "While Jesus Walking in Water: What Muhammad Was Doing with Water." And obviously, this uh, uh, this video uh, did not uh, make the Muslims happy as usual. So, uh, one of the Muslims he posed for us this link to explain to us why Muhammad was taking a shower with water, uh, have dead dogs and women blood from period and garbage. Uh, I, I will the, the link you will find it down there. You see, we don't do what the Muslims do. If somebody posts an answer, the Muslim delete your answer because you are a Christian. They don't want you to. See, they don't want the Christian, the Muslims, to see the answer. We not only we post and we keep your text in the comment. If you go to most Muslims, even their comments is disabled because they are afraid of comment. This is your post. We show it in the screen and we answer it. What you gave me actually is a clear proof that Muhammad is a mentally ill person. Uh, you can, you know, uh, you can click at the link in the info so you can read the whole thing. This is about a guy, he claimed that uh, his faucet, the water of his faucet somehow contain, uh, contaminated with the uh, pig, uh, blah, 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 you know. So can we do wash with this? And now the Muslim cleric, he is answering. And then he said, to go straight to the topic, that the prophet he used to take a shower, and here we mean, we mean shower, we mean a ritual shower, which is the Islamic way of washing before the prayer. We ask about doing wudu with water from the will of Bida'a, even though, though flesh of dead dogs and other kinds of impurities and etc and garbage things were thrown in it he said water is pure and is not rendered impure by anything all right you said this is what your prophet said and this is what you gave me even though the translation is not too much accurate i will show you what the muslim have in their website translation additional to this one but no problem but remember remember here what your prophet said he said Water is always a pure and nothing make it impure by anything. This is what your prophet said. He didn't say that water can be get dirty in certain point. He said nothing, nothing can make it impure. So take a note of that. Then we go down and then we will find more hadith about this. It says, uh, this wording is general is meaning in include both a, a small amount of large amount. It is general its meaning and applies to all kind of impurity, okay, and contamination. So if it is if the if the water is big, I mean what a big deal. Like if they say there's a dead donkey in the ocean, the ocean will not get dirty, you know. But this is not the case. The case we are talking about is a small, tiny water. It's described, and I will show you the size of it in a, in a minute uh, to see how big it is. The fact he did not do wudu in the will of Bida, even though its condition was as said, indicate that the water is not rendered impure by impurity fading into it, as long as long it does not change End of quote. Look what he said, and just to show you how the Muslim lie. This is those scholars speaking. The fact he did wudu, uh, uh, he did wudu from the will of Buddha, uh, 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 even though, so I, I thought he's saying did not. Okay, so he said he did. Even though, so he confirmed that he did, so, but that will not change anything. Why? Because he said it's not rendered impure by impurity fitting into it. As long it does not change. Hmm. Hold on. If we go to the prophet's statement, he didn't say as long it does not change. Right? He said nothing will make it impure. Read with me the hadith, please. Nothing will make it impure. 
that's it which means always the water is clean now we continue the end of the, end of the answer the basic principle would regard the water that is pure uh, but if it is color taste or odor is a change by some impurity then it becomes impure regardless of whether it is a small or a great amount take a note please so if the color the taste and the smell there is a smell or taste or color change that will make the water impure now for sure scientific this is very stupid because you can go right now and see that even if you drink from, from a normal river water which is running water it is full of bacteria this is why people advises advised to have a filter with them when they go for camping however for sure we cannot compare this is not a running water this is number one this is a hole in the ground full of many things and let us see how big this hole uh, the muslims they have a, a small memory if we go here we will find the following let us see how big it is <clears throat> All right. All those hadith is speaking about the same thing. However, here it speak about the size. All right. Here, and we explained that in the previous video, you will see that the size of the water, first of all, it does not reach even to the private part. It's below the private part. So if you stand there, it is about less than a meter height, depending on your height. And Middle Eastern, they have an average, you know, uh, height. So it is about less than a meter, maybe 70 centimeter, 80, one meter maximum. This is the height. Okay, now what about um, how large? Maybe it's a lake. No, it's very small. Be careful with me. It's measured six cubits in the breadth. So this is a very small tiny water it is smaller than it's it is not even a, a swimming pool it is just six cubit very tiny it's in the size of a room so we are talking about little of water equal maybe to a jacuzzi bigger bigger jacuzzi not smaller than a swimming pool even in your in your yard even if you have a like a this is very small a swimming pool and maybe for kids so this is a very small amount of water and in the website you gave me saying that regardless if it's big or small as long the water did not change the taste and the, and the look and the color uh, the, the water will stay pure for sure you know you can go on right now and search you will find millions of videos in youtube explaining to you how dangerous it is to drink from water or to wash from water have dead animals in it how much bacteria is there now look at this forget about the bacteria if we go in the hadith the prophet he said nothing indeed water is pure and nothing make it impure so muhammad claim that water is always a pure it doesn't matter what you dump in it all right now let us continue remember they said if the water stink if the water stink then that is different story but look if the water is not stinky if the water is not ugly so why those people are wondering what he's doing read carefully with me Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, Messenger of Allah, you perform wudu from the well into which the bodies of dogs, menstrual rags, and garbage are thrown. You see, people are questioning something abnormal. Suddenly, Muhammad became a scientist, and he knew that this water is a pure. 
as you see those are Arab or them from the same town they have the same tradition and none of them jump in that dirty garbage water and here we need to remember something very careful you see when we say women of blood in the water women they can have infection this is blood you know regardless what it is it is it is a blood and this blood can carry all kind of diseases and illness and infections and this is not a running water and then we have a bodies of dogs not one dogs bodies of dogs they did not say like we saw a dog there it says bodies of dogs god knows how many dogs are dead dogs there and in the top of that garbage is there i mean look how many things we have we have dogs which is dead we have rags of women from blood and we have garbage and muhammad is still continue saying that water is a pure now in the website this Muslim he gave us he said he mentioned something about the smell all right let us see the Muslims they said to to, to Muhammad uh, let us see Where is the hadith about a netting? Okay, hold on. To show you, it says the word even stink. <laughs> it says they are stink. <laughs> so they throw stinky things, but the water doesn't stink. And this is a small water, you know. That that would be funny, isn't it? All right. Look at this uh, hadith, all of it. All right. Do you see it? dead dogs and stinking things so the things they are throwing there is in the stage of a stink what does that mean it means the bacterias are making doing their business so when you throw something stink let us say you have some uh you know stinky uh, meat in the fridge uh, you know your fridge stop working and then you throw it in such a size, a small size of water. And here we are talking about garbage and dead dogs. I mean, you remember, this is a desert. So a dog in the water, in a desert, the flies, the insect. I mean, what kind of water this water is going to be? And here, because we mentioned dogs, just to show you how stupid the ones who gave the answer. I went to the same website take a note with me here the hadith confirmed that there is dead dogs not one dog so I went to the same website this this Abdul he mentioned to us and I I searched for what about dogs you see this is the same website you gave me it says here is it haram even and etc to touch dogs look what he said It's haram to keep the dog unless it is a guardian dog, blah, 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 etc. Okay, let's go. Hmm. The impurity of dogs is the greatest than animal of animal impurity. So dogs are a special case. They are very filthy. They are very filthy. All right. Now, if you touch a dog, look what Muhammad he said. Look what Muhammad said. Dogs this is before we go to Muhammad dogs are impure and filthy but unfortunately we find that some people are attracted to this way of the kuffar which is us and their uh, uh, filthy habits we are filthy disgusting you see the Prophet showering with dead dogs is not filthy we are the filthy so they have started to keep dogs unnecessarily for no reason disgusting Christians and Jewish and Hindus and Buddhas and you know disgusting then he said, the ruling of touching a dog. Read carefully with me. Uh, if you touch it, if you touch it when it is not wet, then your hand does not become impure. But if you touch it when it is wet, this is mean that your hands became in, it be, becomes impure according to the opening of many scholars. So if your hands is wet and you touch that dog who is a living dog, not dead dog, 
huh? not a stinky dog not a body of dead dog he is like that 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 worms are eating him if you do that for a living nice dog still you became impure so how in the world muhammad is taking shower with dead dogs and you are telling me if the water is changing the color you see the contradiction here a dog and you are wet or your hand is wet you touch the dog we have a small amount of water we have many dead dogs in that water with regard to the vessel if a dog licked the vessel i.e drunk from it then the vessel must be washed seven times one of which should be with earth one of them you should wash your hand with the with the dust seven times because the dog he lick your dish we have a dead dogs in the water and you are telling me the water did not change the taste are we going to wait really for the taste and how we know that that water did not taste where in the hadith it say it did not taste anything did the did the people drink it <laughs> so what you just gave me you know is 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 a kind of proving again that muhammad is a madman how he say to you that the dog is nudges he is dirty he is filthy and if a dog he lick your vessel of any one of you let him wash it seven times and one of it is have to be washing with the dust of the earth yet he is taking shower with dead dogs now we go to the women blood women blood is impure in islam so we have a small size of container of container of water and the Arab, as you see, they are wondering what Muhammad is doing. Because you see, if this water is clean, nobody will ask him why you are doing that. People are asking Muhammad why he is taking a shower there or washing there for a simple reason. It's stinky. It's full of garbage. <laughs> Otherwise, nobody will ask. You see, if, if I am taking a shower in a nice water, okay, well, nobody will ask me. But people, they are wondering why you are doing that. What is the reason people they are wondering? Because this is abnormal. This is not a normal behavior of a human being. This is a behavior of a pig. And then, as long we we here discover now, we find about the, the the dead dogs and women menstruation rags. What is the rules of Islam in women blood? I found from the same same website, the one the Muslim Abdul he posts for us something disgusting. I'm not going to read for it all, but this guy is asking uh, that he is in the month of Ramadan, etc., etc., and his wife, she, when she have a period, she asked me to masturbate her with her with my hand. <laughs> this is a question in Islamic website. You believe it? This is legal officially. Uh -huh. And they, they say to us, "You Christians are perverted people." Yeah, I am fasting. Why am fasting? In this, is this his principle? So now he says to him, "No." Because if she is having her menstruation, she is that that part is impure, is impure. If the husband is safer from touching the impure uh, impurity, then there's nothing wrong with it. So he says, if the wife is menstruating, menstruating she does not have the right to be masturbated by her husband hand because that involves touching impurity. Okay. Muhammad taking shower with women blood. Do you know what blood means? Blood is like ink. And again, remember, we have a small size of container of water. So you try to defend your prophet. It's not working. Your prophet, there is no question. He is making something. He is doing something stupid. This is a very small container of water. And described by you Muslims, not by me. I'm very thankful for the hadith. It is the height of it is less than a meter and the max of the size is 60 cubit this is how small so imagine if there's only one dog is dead there just one and only one women blood from period is there and only one bag of garbage is there what that will do to the water but here we are talking about dead dogs which means the dogs of the town all of it thrown in there the rags of the women, all of it thrown in there. This is simply the garbage dumpster of the town. So what kind of a prophet he do such a thing?
please leave your comment Muslims if you have any answer and thank you for listening and don't forget please to uh, share the video with your friends uh, uh, and uh, let the Muslims learn about their prophet and you know because they don't dare really to question their prophet who dare I mean who dare to question this man this mad man so please use your brain this is not a behavior of somebody is having healthy brain and this is why the Arab themselves the Muslims themselves questioning Muhammad how you can do that yet he says to explain his madness that water is always pure he didn't say always is not always pure he said always is a pure and nothing make it impure you can always reach me uh, reach you know get my books from amazon.com we have it in many languages just search in your Amazon country website like com or .ede Germany India etc and you can get the list of my books in many languages and don't forget to leave your comment please about my books if you if you got my book to make a review about it the last book I released is called sex and Allah and right now I'm working in a new book and actually I am determined to finish it before uh, my coming trip abroad which is next month so you know I will I will do my best to finish this book and it's going to refute uh, the accusation of Islam against our apostles like Paul and the rest of them so share the video tell your friends and let them learn the truth and the truth will set you free thank you very much for listening Christ is Lord Islam is false and I mean to that and see you soon again bye-bye